This is Let's Talk with Liz, and I'm Liz. Hi, my YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. This is Let's Talk with Liz, and of course, I'm Liz. Now, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, let's get into it. Today, we are going to talk about... <laughs> I'm laughing because this is so funny to me. Uh, if you are single, would you date a person with children or without kids? Okay. So this is talking about a single person. Um, I'm talking about a single person who does not have children at the time. Would you date a person, um, with children or without, you know, some people, um, don't mind dating, you know, someone with children if they're single and, you know, they have no children. But on the other hand, you want some, you have other people that basically is strictly, hey, I'm dating. I, I don't have no kids and I don't want nobody with no kids. So, <laughs> and you know what? I could say even vice versa. Even a person who is single with kids, would you date somebody who does not uh, have children or do you want somebody who does have children? Because, hey, if you already have children, you might not want somebody that got children. You know, it's just like adding to the party. And if you're stressed out trying to raise your children by yourself, then you might not want that added stress. Or uh, you might not want to deal with the baby mamas and the baby daddies and stuff of that nature with somebody else and vice versa. They may not want to deal with it. So I'm asking you all that question today because um, I was a single parent. I raised uh, two daughters uh, by myself with the grace of God and the struggle was real. <laughs> Um, I've been in a situation where, you know, we were homeless at one time. Um, you know, we lived with other people and, you know, when times got really, really financially hard and then, you know, um, like I said, by the grace of God, you know, I've always worked, uh, and to be quite truthfully honest, you know, um, sometimes we don't handle our finances the way that we really need to handle it. So, and it puts you in other situations situations. But we're that's that's a show for another time that we'll get into. But um my thing was I was a single parent. I had two daughters and I really did not mind dating someone with or without children. And I guess the reason why is because I had children and I knew whomever I dated, I wanted them to accept my children. And um and I always had uh this thing where I want to treat someone else's children the way I want them to treat mine. And so that was my philosophy. And so when I dated, I dated guys who had children and I dated guys who did not have children. And, um, you know, but I was very, very, very careful about dating guys, period, as being a single mother because you know, you don't want to run in, uh, you know, bring in all these different guys, let your kids meet these different, you know, men folk and, and things of that nature. And, um, I didn't want my kids to be confused. Like, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? You know, so many times people, some people just don't care. They just bring Tom, Dick, Harry, um, Rollo and whoever else they want to bring in there. And they thinking, you know, kids don't remember these things thing that, you know, um, <laughs> They thinking I'm paying the bills, so I don't. I can bring anybody in here that I want to. But the reality of it is, is that uh, kids still remember, and so um, it was very important for me for my kids not to be confused. And I, um, being that you know, some things happened to me in my childhood. I was very, very careful when it came down to my daughters, and um, we're going to talk about that on another uh, session. Um, but yeah, uh, I just want you guys input on, you know, would you date somebody who had kids or who did? I think that a lot of people today are a little bit more understanding, you know, about someone meeting someone with kids. I really think that if you have your kids under control and they're not a bunch of baby kids, you know, because some kids are grown. I mean, they talk to adults like, um, you know, like they're the children or they talk to adults like they are adults. And, you know, as I was growing up, my mother always said, and my father, you know, stay in a child's place. And so that's how I raised my girls, stay in a child's place. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm taking care of you uh, and I'm paying the bills in here, I pay the cost to the boss. So you're not going <laughs> to... 
talk he all kind of ways but um you know when it comes to other people's children got to be very careful you know because hey i am so guilty i do not like people talking to my kids all kind of ways that's the issue and a problem so if you are that type of parent then you need to teach your children how to be respectful for one but also you know know how to stay in a child's place um but um also you know you got to teach your kids the right words so their body parts and stuff because you know sometimes people you know come into your life and they are really not the ones for you you know they looking at your kids or something you know you have to be very careful of all these things when you are a single parent you know raising children you know and it's not just you know girls it's boys too and those are the things that you really really have to pay attention to and that's why I wasn't so quick to you know bring people around my children I had to feel them out first before I brought them around uh my daughters and uh when you have daughters oh my gosh you just like you know all of your radars are on and it should be for boys as well um it's so much stuff going on in society today so we have to be very cautious now if you're single and you don't have children and you don't want to date somebody with children that is your right you know Oh, yes, that's your preference. And you have a right to, you know, be that way. I mean, sometimes people get upset, say, oh, well, they think they this and that. No, they chose to not have no kids. <laughs> and, you know, kids aren't for everybody, you know, and that's 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 beautiful to recognize that in yourself. If that's the type of person that you are, that, hey, I, I could be auntie, I can be, you know, godmother, whatever. I don't want no kids or god father don't want any children i just want to date i want to have my career i want to come home have me a glass of wine and chill and i ain't trying to clean up no poo poo and nothing else you know what i'm saying and that is a person's right so let's not get mad with our brothers and sisters who choose to live a life of you know being single and not having any children you know um I think that they, you know, that they have something to bring to the table as well, you know, because they, they might could give more time to, you know, somebody else, you know, maybe an elderly person or something. I'm um, just saying. <laughs> Um, so anyways, I really want to know what you all think about this uh, and, and give me some ideas as to don't just say, oh, well, I prefer to date somebody who's, who, uh, don't have children and don't tell me why, you know, let's just kind of interact one another. Tell me, why is it that you prefer to date somebody with children or without children? Um, that's very important because, you know, when we interact like this, it makes you kind of think and say, hey, you know, I didn't know that. I really felt this way because of this reason. Now, I'm not no psychiatrist or anything like that. So let's, this is all opinions. But if there is someone that, you know, wants to jump on the bandwagon and leave me a comment in the, in the comment section, I would greatly appreciate it. You know, um, a real certified somebody. Now don't come if you ain't board certified, um, <laughs> to kind of touch on these things, because I think think a lot of times, you know, I've seen people who say, well, I don't want to have to date somebody with children and I don't want children it's because they may have, you know, had to raise their siblings when they were coming up and they were put in the role of being a, you know, a mother or a father while, you know, the parents may have been working hard or there wasn't any parents there. So maybe, you know, that's why, you know, or maybe people, you know, some people could have had bad experiences experiences concerning that. But anyways, um, whatever it may be, you know, uh, just let me know. And thank you so much for joining today. Don't forget to share this video with someone that you know and comment in the comment section. And remember to love you.